let me first let, let me begin by saying that this is a very 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 sad day a very very sad occasion very very sad indeed and very very unfortunate i i'm here not just by myself i'm here also at the direction of mr president there are times when things like this happen, when people are killed, when incidents like this happen. And you feel particularly outraged. You feel particularly angry about what has happened. The reason is that first, those who have been killed, those who have been mercilessly massacred in this way, are people like you and I, human beings like you and I, who have hopes and aspirations, young ones, women, children, who have hopes and aspirations like you and I, who are people who woke up in the morning, they expected to go about their daily business, they expected to go out and, 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 and fend for themselves, but they ended up dead, not because of anything they have done wrong, but because of the cowardly, wicked acts of some other people who lived in the community with them. I want to say that it's a very deeply distressing thing and I sympathize not just with the governor and uh, the people of the Boyne State, but in particular, the people of the communities that have been affected. This peaceful community, a community that has lived with their assailants for many years, many, many years. I think that what, what we have seen here is very cowardly and wicked, and all of us, all of us condemn it, and we say that it must not be allowed to happen again. It must not be allowed to happen again. The, the, the attacks of 29th uh, March, when, when we heard and when we looked at all of these things, one of the things that has occurred to us is what do we need to do to ensure that these kinds of things do not repeat themselves? What do we need to do to ensure that these things do not repeat themselves? One is to beef up security. That is very important. Already, we're in conversation with the GOC and with the Army about ensuring that there is more security provided here. Of course, I know that the GOC has already made some provisions, but obviously there is a need for even greater security to provide it here. The local communities themselves must be ready to give more information and prompt information to all of the law enforcement agencies so that prompt action can be taken in the event that anybody wants to do any further havoc. Let me assure you that we will seek justice on behalf of those who have died, not because, not just because they are Nigerians, but because they are human beings and they deserve justice. They deserve justice. Anybody who watches another person killed next to him and does not feel angry and pained and does not feel that the person deserves justice must answer to God, ultimately. So do not be under any illusion that we will make sure that insofar as it lies within our power, we will make sure that we seek justice and we get justice. But let me say, I don't want anybody to be... I have been given an address. Prof. Uh, already has given me uh, the address. Uh, Professor Alumode, the community leader, has given a, a list of logs, phone numbers, and some photographs. I think here there are about maybe about four or five photographs or so of some people who there's a young man and i'm sure that some of you have seen those photographs now i do not know and i cannot say 
whether these are people, whether all these people are responsible, the ones who are here. I see some women there and all that. I see a young girl there also. I do not know. This is what must be investigated thoroughly. You know, I don't want to live here giving the impression that I have a list of all those who committed offenses. I do not have that list in this. I'm a lawyer and a professor of law. I want to make sure that we are clear as to what I have been given. So I have a call log, a long list of names. I also have some photographs. This is what must be, these things will be investigated. But there are many, many other people. The number of people who were killed and the offenses that were committed could not have been committed by three or four people. There must have been many others who were involved. And that must be investigated thoroughly. And I can assure you that I, I, I at least will pursue it and make sure that investigations are conducted. At the level of the National Economic Council, which is the meeting between the federal government, I have the privilege of chairing that meeting, and all the governors of the state, we agreed certain things when things like this happen. One of the things we agreed is that we will jointly pursue the ends of justice, well, jointly, that is to say, federal government and the state government. We will also make provisions as much as is possible between the federal government and the state government for those who have lost their lives, uh, their, their, their relations, and also uh, whatever can be done to support those communities. What I want to say to His Excellency is a joint effort, state and federal government. We can, the federal government will make, will do the best we can. And, we, and it's not just once. I agree with you that NEMA must come here, assess the damage, and give as much, uh, as much uh, support as they can do. We now have a Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, and, and once I get back to Abuja, I will notify the minister so that uh, this particular disaster can also be catered for among the various things that have been done. So we will do the very best we can. But I want to say that the kind of thing that has happened here, just as the governor has said, has the, just has the tendency to create even further trouble, much more trouble. What has happened here can become can, 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 can envelope not just the, this state, but several other states. If people choose to revenge, if you choose to revenge, if you choose to fight back, we do not know where to land. Nobody knows where to land. Nobody knows where to land. Which is why I will urge you, as you have done, you have done the right thing, in my view, you have very peacefully presented the case, you have very peacefully conducted yourselves, you have reported to the authorities, you have sought the right support from the government. It is up to the government to make sure that they provide the best that they can. But we must be, we must be careful also not to, not to seek revenge because we do not know where to land. At the end of the day, I pray for everybody, who, especially those who have lost so much. There is no way you can buy that. No matter how much money, you cannot buy back a life. And nobody knows the potential of any life. Any one of those lives could have been anything. They could have been governor, they could be president. Those who have lost their lives. And it's people who have lost, who have lost loved ones that can say the pain that they feel. There's no way we can, by saying sorry, by saying, there's no way we can fully compensate. But I want you to know that one way by which we can do something is by seeking justice and by providing for the families of those who have lost their hope. And we will do so. We'll do so. So once more, let me again sympathize with all members of the community, the leadership and members of the community. And, I, and to say that I pray that this kind of thing, we will never see another thing like this again. And we will do everything, we will do everything to protect the people of these communities 
and to protect the people of this state. Thank you very much. God